All right, it's a tiny battle, but there are a lot of pieces on this map. This is uh, Scorpions in a Bottle, uh, Corson Pocket. OCS, we're looking at the, uh, third, uh, <clears throat> the third winter. And uh, I had to pull the rest of the air counters, and then I found a couple little errors in the, the stuff that I had already pulled and clipped. So I had to get squared away there, but we're now pretty much good to go. There's a couple of special rules for this scenario for initiative and a few other bits and pieces, uh, replacements and supply and stuff like that, but all fairly straightforward. I am going to probably start playing this later this afternoon. It's about noon right now, uh, but I've now got this set up. I've got MBT set up with a battle plan for both sides done, and I've got China Intervenes, the Korean War set up, and I'll show you that real quick. Uh, one disappointing thing occurred when I was pulling counters here. One of the counters peeled apart, so I have to glue it back together, but that's okay. Everything was awesome with this. This is all squared away. Got uh, the Soviet plan uh, is to try and take the township quickly and grab the four, v four BP loc locations there, support it with uh, one platoon of tanks, and then the rest of the tanks are going to try and uh, bum rush along with the uh, recon units, bum rush these locations to try and score the v, all the VPs and hold them, right? However, the, the British have other plans. They are going heavy on this side because all they, have to do, all they have to do is deny one or more of these VP locations and no one gets the VPs for this. And then it becomes uh, who can shoot the most guys first uh, in, the, in the 15 turns. I am adding uh, leaders in for the British why? Because I want to. And it'll be fun. And if I end up writing this up as a story, if something evolves that's fun, we'll have some character names to, to roll with. Over on the, le the left flank of the Brits, we've got, just got a couple of ATGM units. And that might be a recon unit there, but an ATGM unit there that'll kind of try and hit units up on the hill if they can find them. So that's that. Korean War. Interesting and disappointing uh, in, in uh, two... Two ways. I, I've mentioned previously the, the issues with the counters, but what I failed to realize when I was trying to clip these, uh, besides the terrible job of the, the cut, the press, the cutting press, um, they're reverse printed. So this is the front of the counter, which is the fatigue side, and this is the rear of the counter, which is the full strength or full, full power side. Uh, unfortunately, the allies are the opposite. <laughs> so it's just, you know, it's just disappointment. And I can't, I can't clip them because they don't fit in the clipper. The other thing that is a little bit of a challenge for setup is these, uh, the, the, the color tones on the map, while it looks really good, very hard to read these numbers. And it would almost be better just to do every fifth one, kind of like what uh, MMP does and then make them a little bolder and easier to see. It's a little too muted and uh, a little too bland uh, that doesn't stand out. I do like all these province names here that, uh, that pop out, they, they come out nicely. And you can see, you know, you gotta kind of, you can zoom in and have a look there, you can see the, the, the fonts and all the rest of it. But uh, overall, you know, we're ready to go and uh, it's just a little afternoon on Saturday. So we'll see how we do. Later.